Jennifer had passed away, she had successfully taught the two older boys how to be potty trained. And now Dylan's three years old, and potty time is here. Look, what we've got here. Dylan excited about being potty trained and he was very happy when he realised that he was going to be wearing big boy underwear. Oh, you know what? All these will fall down already. <laughs> but when I said to Dad, take the diaper off, put his big underwear on, he put up a fight. <laughs> Dylan really was upset about taking his diaper off and putting the big boy pants on. Just say, look, you know, just cut it out, behave yourself. <laughs> yes. Well Once we got Dylan into his big boy underwear, we just needed to frequently ask him if he needed to go, and then wait. You have to pee? Yeah. All right, let's go. A little while later, Dylan told his dad that he needed to go for a pee, and at that stage, I said to dad to just keep it very casual and just get him onto the toilet. Oh, I can't pee. Do you want to sit down? No, I can't pee. I think you probably could if you tried. Suddenly changed his mind. I don't want to Just try it, honey. No! I didn't want it to turn into a fight or for Dad to try and force him to go, but it was really important that Dylan understand this is where he needs to go. You need to tell me where he goes before you can get out of here. I don't know. Well, you need to know. I don't know. This is a big change, and kids will resist at times, but this is where you need to stand your ground. That's okay. I understand that. See, that's me. It's just pure defiance. Okay, so my question. He ended up being in there for probably a good 10 or 15 minutes before he finally relented. You need to go pee pee and poo poo. Where do we go? In the party. Good. Okay, you cannot go in your underwear. If you do it in your underwear, I will not be happy. Yeah. Dylan did finally acknowledge that he knew where he needed to go, so now we've just got to wait for nature to call and let him follow through on it. In the meantime, I do have a project for Dad. I know from talking to the boys and Gary in observation, it's incredibly important that we keep the spirit of Jennifer alive. And so I've asked Dad to collect photos from his computer to put onto a DVD to show the whole family. Then we could sit like on the sofa and just see yeah. these different images and yeah, no, just I give a one-liner about them, you know? I absolutely do. Yeah. Gary's a really keen photographer. He's got some amazing photos on his computer. <laughs> I love it. Once I see, it brings stories back. Now I remember that day completely. Dad made the DVD, but before we had a chance to show the whole family, Dylan had an announcement. Come on down, buddy. Dylan, you can't pee. You need to sit for a couple of minutes. Okay, well then you need to sit for a couple of minutes. Are you go and I'll come back and see you in a minute. I didn't want Dylan to feel pressured, so I asked Dad, just give him a little bit of space and back off. And what do you know? As Dad walked away into the kitchen, he called out. Picture. With Father. That's right. Yeah. 
we want to watch the slideshows with Dad again. You know, it keeps very much the essence, the spirit of, of Jennifer yeah. with you guys always. As tragic as it is for this family that they have lost a loved one to cancer, they have some beautiful memories and that you can't erase. I'm going to be leaving for the next several days and my concerns with Gary is making sure that he can follow through. Okay, we're going to set you some homework, following through with the discipline, making sure that we can do a very nutritious meal, potty training. The biggest challenge is probably still going to be discipline and food. I guess we'll see how it goes. Alright. And I'll find out if Dad's going to be able to stick with it when I get back in a few days. Coming up on Super Nanny. Can Dan handle discipline on his own? And Dad faces his first potty predicament. I'm not happy about it. When Super Nanny returns. And now, ask Super Nanny. When do you know your child is ready to be potty trained? A. When your child can tell you they want to go. B as soon as they're sleeping through the night, or C, when you see good cognitive skills and there's a dry diaper after an afternoon nap. Find out the answer when we return.